We all have heard many stories and quotes about creation. Quotations originate mainly from the Holy Bible and the Quran. But the evidence shows that in some cases, there are also differences, and by scrutinizing, new facts can be found. Was Eve the one who was deceived by Satan for the first time in paradise, and Adam followed her? Were Adam and Eve the only humans in paradise, or were they only their representatives? Is heaven a place in another world, and humans came to earth from there, or was heaven a garden on earth? What was the forbidden fruit, and what was the man trying to get by touching it? What if all of history, or at least a large part of it, is a lie or hidden from us? Some people in the world believe that there are many hidden secrets that are deliberately kept hidden from the public. These secrets reveal themselves only to true seekers. We seek to find these secrets in this channel. If you are with us on this path, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. The story of Adam and Eve living in heaven and their expulsion is described in detail in the book of Genesis and the three surahs of the Quran. But what is the story of original sin? According to the ancient myths that entered the Bible and from there it entered the Islamic books, the original sin of eating the forbidden fruit and encouraging Adam to break the law is on Eve. And since the beginning of the ancient patriarchal view, it has defined an inherent virtue and a special value for the male gender. But in the Quran, the story has an interesting difference. The Quran only mentions Adam and his wife and never mentions their gender, nor does it mention the name of Eve even once. The Quran's attention in the story of creation is to a special case of the human type, in the stage of living in the heavenly environment and conditions. The Quran, rather than two individuals, probably intended the human race. In the scenario of Adam's life in heaven and its subsequent adventures, according to historical imagination, Adam plays the first role. He is the hero of the story and the purpose of his creation. His wife is the only companion of his desires and plays a secondary role. But the Quran deliberately involves both in all stages of the test. As both of them were ordered not to approach the forbidden tree, the devil tempted both of them and promised to deceive both of them. Both of them ate from that tree, and the evils of both of them were revealed. The Lord rebuked both, both fell from that position, and both repented. Again, according to old stories, it is said that Adam and Eve lived alone in heaven, and after being expelled from heaven and falling to earth, their generation increased. If this is the case, then it would be necessary for the sons and daughters of Adam and Eve to marry each other. That is, the marriage of siblings took place, which is strictly prohibited in all religions and spiritual teachings. But if this is not the case, what is the reality? In the Quran, in all the stories of Adam and Eve, after Adam's mistake and misguidance, God ordered all humans to fall from heaven. We told you to come down from there while some of you will be enemies of others. Doesn't this clear statement show that Adam and his wife were not alone in the Garden of Eden and lived among a group of their own kind? The same species were still in the stage of absolute mastery of animal instincts. Can't it be said that Adam and Eve were the first people who realized the power of choice, and the power of relative freedom from their instincts and experienced it, albeit unsuccessfully? The first people of the human race to whom God gave free will. But what was the story of the forbidden fruit? Why did the human race, represented by Adam and Eve, fall from the initial suitable conditions? It is mentioned in the Quran, Satan tempted him and said, Do you want me to guide you to the tree of immortality and rulership that does not accept old age? Many things have been said about the forbidden fruit that Adam and his wife ate. Some have said that it was an apple, and some have said that it was wheat. But what is clear is that this fruit is a metaphor for something else. As we see in Hafez's poem, 
My father sold heaven for two branches of wheat. I'd be rude if I didn't sell heaven for a sprig of barley. But has anything been said in the Quran about the nature and details of the tree of immortality? In general, anything that has a root and base, main trunk, leaves, and finally, fruits and crops can be called a tree. Anything that has a system, network, and branch and can be considered a hierarchy and order as a tree. According to this definition, government systems are also considered trees. Because they are rooted in the culture and basic beliefs of the people, the leader or ruler is the main body. Then, through the hierarchy and system of foliage, we reach the fruit and the main product, which can produce a positive and sweet function or a negative function and produce bitter fruit. Having said that, can't the tree that Adam and Eve were forbidden to approach be considered a corrupt system and disobedience to God? A system that Satanists and secret societies have implemented in the world for thousands of years and oppress the people of the world in an organized way. Under the name of governments, banks, and business systems, they have created a hierarchy and an evil tree. They are deceiving and busy people so much that they are supposed to be immortal in this world forever. In this video, we examine the story of creation from new angles. We discussed the sin that Eve did not commit alone, and we proved the existence of other humans in the Garden of Eden, having the gift of free will, and finally, the fruit of the forbidden tree, which can symbolically include any corrupt and evil system.